Hello everyone, this is Scott with InMotion Hosting. Today's video is going to be about installing the open source classified software program named Open Classifieds. I'm going to give you a quick preview of what that's going to look like when we're finished. It's just like this. So once everything's complete, this is what we should see on our test site. Alright, now to get started with this, we're going to log into the control panel. You can get there one of two ways. You can either go to the AMP login area, or you can go up to your address bar and type in your uh, domain name and add slash cpanel to the end, like we're going to do here. And once you log in, you'll be into the control panel. Alright, so here we are in the control panel. We're going to scroll down and find the software and services category. Alright, and then there's a Softaculous icon there. Go ahead, give that a click. Alright, this brings us to the front page of Softaculous. Uh, on the left hand side, you can see all the different categories of the different programs it has in, inside the program, uh, Softaculous program here. We're going to look for the Ad Management Program category, which is here. We click that, you'll see all the different programs and Open Classifieds is right there. Alright, now this is the overview page here and kind of gives you the version number, uh, the release date, and the space required. Uh, nothing further here. If you had any installations already, it would have some information below uh, to kind of tell you where it's installed. But we're going to hit the install button here in the upper right. It brings us to the software setup page. Okay, a few uh, different fields here to pay attention to. The first thing is your protocol. We're going to leave that as HTTP. Uh, you have an option to use www or not. Okay, most people just use uh, the blank one there. Uh, choose a domain. If you have more than one domain on your account, you'll have a list of them in this uh, drop down box. I only have one, so we're going to keep that at mytest.com. Next field we have is the directory. Now, if I leave it as it is and install this program, I would have to go to mytest.com slash open class in order to see the first page, the front page of the uh, program that I showed you earlier. But we want to make this our main area, our main page, so we're going to remove that directory name. So when I go to mytest.com after we're complete, we'll see it there. Okay. Now, if you have it as part of a larger project, you, know, you might have a main page, a main area, uh, and then have the classifieds as a sub folder or sub area of your site. And you be sure to put that directory name here if you want to create a slash classifieds or slash you know whatever you want there. Uh, database name that is created randomly. Uh, it's perfectly fine. I'll leave that as is. And then site name it starts off with open classifieds. You can change that to anything you like. Change to Scott's classified today. Table prefix is OC underscore. Um, it's perfectly fine. I'll leave that there. And then we're down to the admin account. This little area here is pretty important because this creates the administrative account for logging into your um, back end of your open classifieds. And the first thing it's going to give you is an admin username. It's very common for people to keep admin or administrator. Uh, I don't recommend it just for extra security. Uh, you can change it to something else. It could be you know, another name, just another word, anything you like. Just remember that. But then you have the admin password. Uh, we definitely want to change that. And you can change that by clicking this key over here to the right, which just give you randomly generated passwords. Okay, and you can add to them if you like and make them stronger. Or you can just keep the ones that you um, click on there, whichever one you like. And then lastly, in the admin area, we have the admin email account. This one here is generated by the system. It may or may not be a email address that you have access to. So definitely change that to something you do have access to, so that way if you forget your username or password, then um, you can have it sent there to that email address. And then, let's see, last is the choose a language. We're going to keep that in English right before the install button. However, one more thing. If you want to have all this information on this page sent to you for re records, just go ahead and put an email address down here that you have access to. You'll send you a copy of that. That way you just have it on hand. Uh, definitely not necessary. Go ahead and hit the install button when you're ready. All right, you see a run through the progress bar here. Just takes a couple of minutes to add to the database and all the files. And, I'll, and it also creates all the structure and everything behind that. So once we're finished, we have the congratulations message here and tells you where it's been installed to mytest.com because we didn't have any uh, extra uh, directory name there and also gives you an administrative panel um, login area as well I go ahead and click on mytest.com here and there we go so we have the new install here you can see I changed the name of it from before to Scott's Classifieds 
All right, and there we go. So that's installing Oaken Classifieds using the software uh, installer tool named Softaculous through your control panel. I'm Scott Mitchell with InMotion Hosting. Thanks for watching.